Hello, welcome to our five minute tutorial on Adobe Connect, the iPad app. This tutorial is for a host of the service Adobe Connect, which locally at the University of Memphis we brand as UM Meet. My name is Roy Bowery. I work at the Advanced Learning Center at the University of Memphis, and I'm glad you could join us. The Connect app is free at the iTunes App Store, and you can, when you install it, it's going to look like this icon here. If you click the icon, you'll get the Adobe Connect Mobile logo, and then the URL entry window. This is where you want to place the web address that you get from your Connect Central website, where you create and manage your various rooms. So you just enter the URL there and hit Next. Be sure you log in as a member. Use your official University of Memphis email address as your ID. And the password would be the, either the one that the ALC assigned you or that you later changed and made a password of your own choosing. We do not recommend that you use your official University of Memphis password, but another one. Upon login, you'll be given the standard room layout. Here we have the sharing frame where there's a PowerPoint loaded up right now. I don't have a video on the iPad 1, but if you did have a, a, an iPad with a camera, the iPad 2 or 3, then it would show up there. Your microphone is automatically hot and active, ready to use. Here's your attendees pod and the chat window in the normal place down here in the lower right corner. If you'll notice over on the left, there's some icons here that allow you to manage the meeting. And let's look at those one by one. The second icon down is the PowerPoint uh, sharing button. So this allows you to just have a, a start a PowerPoint slideshow. The navigational uh, arrows are down here at the bottom that you can go back and forth. And here's slide two. So you can just keep talking and go through the slideshow. That's what you need to do. The third icon down is the attendees icon. That allows you to focus on who's in the meeting. And if you click on someone's name, it gives you the options tools to uh, give different roles and responsibilities or permissions like audio, video sharing. To, the, uh, to that particular user. Fourth icon down is the video icon, the sharing. So if there are other participants in the room or presenters, host that had the video displayed, it would show up in this frame here. The fifth tool down is the chat tool. So here we can have chat interaction and you enter the text here at the bottom. To, um, for, for text chat. The sixth tool down is the notes tool. So this is where you can have notes, discussion notes, or just tracking the, the meeting uh, uh, agenda. And the text is entered over here. So if I click in this area, then I'm going to get the standard iPad uh, key, keyboard to enter text. Keep in mind that participants cannot enter text in the notes pod. Only host and presenters can do that. The last tool option on the list here is the Q&A pod. When this comes up, it allows you to have private interaction with one of the participants. I just went to the, I paused this and went to my full browser on the desktop and activated a poll in this meeting. So when I came back to the iPad app, I saw a new icon had appeared at the bottom here for the polling tool. And now I can ask the participants in this room whether they're on an iPad or on a full desktop browser experience, they can take a poll and I can broadcast those results to the class. That's pretty cool. 
All right, that concludes our short tutorial on the Adobe Connect iPad app. Hope you find this is helpful. Keep in mind that if your participants are joining the meeting from their iPads, then their experience will be a little different because they won't have the management tools over on the left side. Those icons will be missing, but they can do whatever you give them permission to do in the meeting. Well, I hope this has been good for you. Thank you for being with us today. Bye-bye.